Hey everyone, this is Megan with Above Ruby Studio and today I'm going to show you how to update your Cricut firmware to use Shortcuts a lot or even Design Studio. Um, first, to find out what firmware your, version, your Cricut is running on, um, simply power up your Cricut machine and in this box here, this first little thing, it says Cricut 2.0 and this is okay, it has copyright information, it has the, school, um, the cartridge that's loaded in it. So um, whenever you turn it on, the first thing that you will see is that you're running a Cricut machine and then the, um, the version firmware that you're running on. So this one's 2.0 and we need either 2.1 or 2.3 to run the Shortcuts a lot software. This is my really good friend Becca. Um, this is her machine and we're up, um, installing this today on her machine. So. Um, we're running the Cricut Expression. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over to my laptop here. And I'm sorry I don't have my screen capture thing, but I'm going to put up some images with this video to show you how this is working um, exactly. But just to run you through it by looking at it. We're in Design Studio right now. and We're in the free trial mode. And what you can do is go to Cricut.com um, backslash CDS. And that will take you to a link to download your own free trial version of the Design Studio software by Cricut. As of right now, this is the only way that you can update your firmware for your Cricut machine. So you'll come to this screen here, and we're going to um, read through the whole process real quick. Your Cricut machine must be running the latest version of its built-in software called firmware to be, compa to be compatible with the Cricut Design Studio PC software. Um, it's the same for, again, Shortcuts a lot, version 2.0 or otherwise. Please follow the instructions to update your Cricut machine. The update process will take 5 to 10 minutes, and once the process begins, it's very important to finish without interruptions, and that is true. You cannot start and stop this process. You have to run it all the way through. First of all, what we need to do is turn the Cricut machine off again. We have to have it connected by our USB cable, and the USB cable, again, is the AB um, end and that means it has one flat end and one square tip end and I will show you that real quick this is the end that we're worried about this goes into the Cricut machine and this is the flat end USB you can also watch my video um, called sure cuts a lot frequently asked questions on above rubystudio.com and that will give you more information about that so we're plugging in okay so we want to make sure we're plugged in and then what we're going to do is once the, the Cricut machine is turned off, we're going to come back over here to the Cricut machine so you can see this. Okay, now step two of this is to hold down your stop button. Okay, and then we're going to press the power button. We're going to continue to hold down the stop button until it beeps. It takes about five to ten seconds. That's the signal that it is ready to um, update. As you can see in the window, it's blank. That's perfect. You can let go of the stop button. Okay, now we're going to come back over to the little computer here. Um, we're going to select the Cricut expression. And then there's also going to be, okay, now there's going to be a begin update now button. And this is what you are going to press. Do not close this window. Um, this box will appear in the Cricut disappear when the Cricut firmware update is finished. Okay, so it's going to run through the entire update process. It's going to take anywhere between five to ten minutes. It could take a little longer. Um, and as soon as it's finished, um, this little update will, this little box will disappear and we'll come back and I'll show you now that the, once the update is completed. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me at AboveRubyStudio.com. You can comment one thing I forgot to mention, and we're still going through the update process, updating the firmware. As you can see, the monitor is blank and all these are lit up. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to show you something real quick. You can see I have the Plant and Schoolbook font cartridge um, installed in here. And um, Design Studio requires that you use your cartridges to work with the images and this, that, and the other thing. Um, sure Cuts A Lot does not. Shortcuts a lot does require that you have a cartridge installed simply so that you can load and unload your paper into the machine. The Cricut machine will not work without a cartridge in it to load or unload your paper. But design, or um, I'm sorry, Shortcuts a lot does not require you to use a cartridge for anything. And as a matter of fact, it will not cut um, any images from your Cricut cartridges. But you can find similar images and SVGs available on the internet. Um, 
to cut very similar images if there's something particular you're looking for. So again, I do have the frequently asked questions on Sure Cuts A Lot, and I have a, several other Sure Cuts A Lot videos available. Um, but I just wanted to give you this information, and um, I hope this helps you. Thanks. <gasps> Okay, we're back. So in the process of the firmware updating, my kids are now up from their nap. So if you hear them in the background, they're just playing in the, in the living room here with us, but that's all right. So um, it's now successfully updated, and I will show you that real quick by coming back over here to the Cricut machine. It's powered up right now. I'm going to simply turn it off so the screen's blank. And I'm going to just turn it back on, and you will see in this window it now says version 2.32. So that's perfect for running your shortcuts a lot or your design studio software. I hope Hope this helps. Again, feel free to contact me with any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say hi, I'm Genevieve. Hi everyone. We're cutting with the Cricut machine. Say hi. You gonna smile? Nothing? Nothing at all?